Revenge films. The other day, I woke up in the middle of the night. I heard something outside. There was a cop on the floor, three doors down. I also heard a baby crying. According to one of my neighbors, someone in the apartment called an ambulance and the cops in the middle of the night. But the ambulance left first. The cop went into the room but came out in less than five minutes. He told everyone, False alarm. Please go back to your rooms. The next day, the resident who called the cops came and apologized. Apparently, his wife freaked out and called 911 because her baby wouldn't stop crying. A few days later, someone from child services came and asked me a few questions about my neighbor, but she didn't ask me about the baby. Instead, she asked me about the kids that the lady took care of during the day. Apparently, those kids belonged to their husband's colleague, Mr. A. His wife was pregnant, so my neighbor looked after them from time to time. At the time, I still had no idea what happened that night. I asked my neighbors if they knew anything, but no luck. I mean, they called the cops in the middle of the night. Something must have happened. But I couldn't exactly ask them myself, so I just let it go after a while. A few years later, I had a child of my own. I became friends with the lady in that room through our children. I couldn't ask her back then, but I was pretty good friends with her now, so I decided to ask. She told me what really happened that night. Her husband and Mr. A, whose kids she looked after, were really good friends at work. They started working there at the same time. And when they started working in the same department, they got really close. They were a family friend. At first, it was a one-time thing, but he kept asking her to watch his kids more often. At first, it was only for a few hours, but eventually she had to watch them every afternoon. She had a baby of her own, so one day she refused to take them. But he didn't listen and just left them at her doorstep. She couldn't exactly just leave them in the hallway, so she had no choice but to let them in. It was really tough for her, taking care of other people's kids. She tried to talk to her husband too, but... His wife is pregnant right now, just help him out. He wouldn't listen. I felt really bad for her. When your baby cries at night, it's hard trying to find time to sleep. I know because I've been through the same thing. Some say you can always find some time during the day, but that's easier said than done. And on top of that, she was forced to take care of someone else's children every day. Talk about a living hell. And to make things even worse, they were both boys. But her husband wanted to be a good friend. The thing is, he was making his wife do all the heavy lifting. She barely slept at night, and during the day, she had to look after other people's children. She was losing it. Then, that night, she was standing on the balcony, holding her baby in her arms. She didn't even realize it. Thankfully, she didn't do anything extreme. But in that moment, she knew she needed some help. So she called 911, but had no idea what to say. All she could do was cry. She hung up the phone, but the ambulance and cops showed up anyways. After this incident, her husband realized that he messed up. He talked to his colleague and asked him to stop bringing his kids over. Helping a friend out is fine, but making your wife do all the work? I don't think so. I'm not one to judge, but if my husband did that to me, I'd seriously consider getting a divorce. Mr. A ended up putting them both in nursery school. They never came over after that. Mr. A's wife was pregnant with her third child and her parents lived far away. But still, asking another mother to look after her kids every day? She was unbelievable. But after the incident, she contacted child services for support. Looks like that worked out well for her. Things got much better for her. Her baby stopped crying at night and her husband started treating her better. But there were false rumors about her going around so she had to explain herself from time to time, which was kind of annoying. By the way, she used to work at the same company as her husband, and she still had a friend there. This friend of hers. She corrected the rumors that were spreading in the company when she heard about all of this. She was always the thorough type and told everyone what Mr. A did, from the vice president to the janitor. Mr. A ended up being transferred to a different branch near his parents' house. Soon, his parents heard about what happened. When they found out what he did, making someone else take care of his kids because his wife was pregnant, they flipped out. A few days later, all four of them showed up at her house to apologize. 
Mr. A's parents knew about the incident that night. I can't begin to imagine what you were going through. I'm so sorry for my son's behavior. I'm just glad nobody got hurt, she said. But when Mr. A and his wife moved out of town, they didn't even thank her for all the things she did for them. Apparently, they were planning to make their parents look after the kids once they moved, but they told him no. Mr. A and his wife were shocked. Stop depending on other people. They're your children. Take care of them. His father said to him. Apparently, he hit him too. Then I heard his wife started crying. Before they left, Mr. A's parents said to her, We're so sorry for everything. I know this doesn't make it right, but here, please take this. And they handed her an envelope full of cash. She was shocked. I can't take this, she said. But Mr. A's parents wouldn't take it back. Turns out Mr. A's mom went through something similar when she was young with her sister-in-law. She knew how hard it was. She said things got really tough for her. She thought about running away with her son many times. Fortunately, her husband stepped in and put an end to all of it. But after that, she was scared to have any more children. So she was shocked when she found out that her son was doing the exact same thing to someone. At the end, she just kept saying, I'm just glad you're okay, dear. When Mr. A found out about all of this, he realized his mistakes and apologized to her. Afterwards, his parents took him home. As for her husband, his parents somehow found out about what he did to his wife too. They weren't very happy with him. They tore him apart, and it wasn't just his parents. His older sisters, all of them mothers, were there too. Looks like he learned his lesson. When they heard about the incident that night, they thought that the wife had tried to hurt her child or something. But after finding out the truth... You idiot! You're an embarrassment! Are you stupid? You think raising a child is easy? She's got a baby of her own! What the hell are you thinking? They all gave him a mouthful. Being mothers, they knew how hard it was to raise kids. They were furious with their little brother. They made him get on his knees and apologize to his wife. She was pretty pissed. But after this, she felt much better. And her husband started helping out around the house after that. The thing is, his parents and his sisters checked up on him from time to time. He knows he's screwed if he messes up again. And on some days, he even looks after the kids on his own so she can have some free time. He usually calls her though, asking for help. But if it's not an emergency, she usually just hangs up and lets him worry about it. Like his sister said, raising a kid isn't easy. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.